had intercourse with his female captive, then gave her away or sold her to his son. He is no longer permitted to have intercourse with her. Don't tell me that they're not civilized with rules. These are all based on Quranic uh, laws, by the way. Nine, if the female captive becomes pregnant by her owner, he cannot sell her, and she is released after his death. You see how kind it is? So he rapes her until he drops dead from sexual exhaustion. Let's say he, let's say she's 10, and he rapes her till he's 50, and finally he dies. So after 40 years of, of being raped, he releases her. So don't tell me it's not a compassionate uh, derivation of Islam, please. 10. If the owner releases his female captive, then he is not permitted to have intercourse with her afterwards because she has become free and is no longer his property. If two or more individuals are involved in purchasing a female captive, none of them are permitted to have sex with her because she is part of a joint ownership. That is so incredibly legalistically advanced. I'm just flabbergasted how advanced they are. 12. It is not permissible to have intercourse with a female captive during her menstrual cycle. Well, because they're very clean. These are clean men. I mean, these paint are as clean as the driven snow. Look at that. Thirteen, it is not permissible to have anal sex with a female captive. Well, sorry about that. Sorry, you progressives. You can't join ISIS now. Fourteen, the owner of a female captive should, should show compassion towards her. Be kind to her. Not humiliate her and not assign her work she is unable to perform. Fifteen, of the sex rules of ISIS, the Islamic State, the owner of a female captive should not sell her to an individual whom he knows will treat her badly or do unto her what Allah has forbidden because Allah is so kind that he permits them to have sex slaves and to sell them on the auction block. This shows you how kind Allah is. It's time to release the strike jets on our aircraft carriers if we had a commander-in-chief and drop the cluster bombs, the bunker-busting bombs, any other bomb we have to put the women out of their misery and take these vermin and send them to Allah land. And you can drop a package of bacon along with the bomb. I am so sick reading this. We can't put up with this anymore. The apologists for Islam, the apologists who tell us it's not based on Islamic law, should be ashamed of themselves. ISIS releases a rape handbook to fighters with 15 sickening new rules revealed while the sick lying progressives in the West turn a blind eye to all of this. I'm sorry to bring you the bad news during Christmas week, but unless we get a real leader willing to wipe these vermin off the planet, there will be more girls screaming in misery around the clock. So I look at the news and I see nobody will say one word about how to actually defeat ISIS. You know, I like to watch boxing matches. I noticed something in a boxing ring. You know what I noticed? One guy tries to beat the other guy's brains in. It's real interesting. And then after it's over, they hug each other because they're human beings. I like the sportsmanship. With rare exception, after pummeling each other to, to kill him, when one guy knocks the other one out, okay, afterwards they go shake his hand. We got to kill the other person. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Knock him out. Over. Get the game over with. They will worry about the sensibilities of the good Muslims. That's number one. Stop already shaking in your boots with the good Muslims. How many of them have stepped forward? The good Muslims. Oh, the good Muslims. I'm sorry. Let's see the good Muslims. Here we go. You remember the Muslim massacre in San Bernardino just a few weeks before Christmas when Santa came to town? But instead of Santa coming to town, two Muslim maniacs came to town. Farouk and the other one, the witch, the witch and a burka, and freak, the freak and, and the freak and, and the burka job. Listen to this. What did I say to you on this show the day of that massacre after it happened? We knew who did it, but we knew it was the freak, two Muslim freaks. What did I say to you? What did I say to you? I said, get in that mosque where these two bums went. And pull them out by their, by their, 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 whatever they're wearing and shake them out somewhere. Give them a rubber hosing. Nobody would go in the mosque. Well, finally, a month later, a month later, the FBI goes in. Here's the headline. Cleric. Now he's a cleric. You hear? Cleric denies ties to San Bernardino killers as phone records surface. Look, if I were conducting the war, here's what happens. You want the war over with? 
Make believe you're General MacArthur, because we know we're losing the war. 40% of Americans say the terrorists are winning. You hear this? That's because A. Obama is playing either for the other side or not playing at all. That, that's a given. That's a given. The only reason this thin phony started conducting the war is because Putin made him look like what he is. So he said, uh-oh, I better, better show him I really care. A year now, biggest air force in the world. What did he do? Nothing. He blew up sand, this phony. 40% of Americans say terrorists are winning. 40%. It'd be more like 140% if you're talking about people with a, with a brain. Not diehard morons who don't even know about the rapes, the murders, the kidnappings, the slave markets. There's a simple way to end this war. It's not as complex as you are hearing. Don't you love all the people on TV when they talk about this ISIS thing? I watched Fox News last night, and I got a news that, look, they're smart people, they're good-looking, they're intelligent, this and that. No one said anything. Mincing words, this and that, the hen and the hen and the hen and the hen and the good Muslims, you can't alienate them. We really need them. We must have them. Unless you're on this side, you're going to alienate all of them. We don't want to turn. I heard the same thing a million times. Stop already with the good Muslims. Don't tell me about the good Germans. Let's focus on killing the Nazis. And then the good Germans will step forward. I'm sick of this. We're losing the war against ISIS because we have a capitulating. I, I can't. I don't have words for him. In fact, when people and I, if someone runs into me and starts me political, starts me off politically, I have to stop. I become apoplectic. How this man has not been thrown in prison for what he has done to America and the world is beyond me. So you say, what man are you talking about? Uh, fill in the blank. There's quite a few. Fill in the blank. Everyone on the left. How's that? Let's start with that. Now winnow the list down and separate free speech out from sedition. And you know who I'm talking about. I mean, it's one thing to say you're a liberal. It's another thing to undermine police, undermine the flag, undermine father, undermine mother, undermine the military, undermine everything decent in the world, and call yourself a liberal. Back in a moment. So we just read a rape manual put out by the Islamic State that was written by one of the uh, chief animals, one of the holy animals in the Islamic State, based on Quranic law. And I keep hearing from the apologists, it's not based on Islam. Well, we understand that most Muslims don't practice these things, but it is based on Islamic law. That simple. Yeah, I don't know how much more of it I can take. I want to wake up one day and I want to see them dead. I want to wake up, I want to see ISIS bodies littering the desert. I want to see them screaming like schoolgirls as special forces run in and real men run in to take them on instead of the girls that they're kidnapping and raping. I mean, I really want America back. I want it back so badly, but I'm not going to get it back. Not now, not for a, lo not for a while yet. Oh, no. No, no, no. The, the, the thin smoker is uh, snorkeling in Hawaii right now and climbing Cocoa Head Crater like he's climbing Mount Everest, making believe he's on a real hike. Imagine he climbed C Cocoa Head Crater, which a schoolgirl could climb. With one foot, she can hop up the cocoa head. He made it look like he hiked up a cliff. It's better than Al Gore with the canoe. Now, I want to backtrack for a minute. Remember I did a uh, Savage newsletter the other day where I said minorities like Donald Trump, that you're all wrong about it? Remember I was the first to say that to you, that I was reading obscure polls that I thought were reliable, and I told you why Hispanics would vote for Trump and not for a mean old woman like Hillary? I said Hispanic, the Hispanic culture is a macho culture. Hispanic men do not want an old woman telling them what to do. They're not voting for Hillary. And maybe they wouldn't admit it to their friends, but they're going to vote for Trump if they vote at all. And I said, likewise, in the black community, I said, African Americans are so used to being lied to, they know that the Clintons are liars who did nothing for them. They know she, they can look at her and know who she is. And they say, you know what, Trump may not reflect what we want 100%, but at least the guy says it like it is. They will take a man who they disagree with, who tells them what they think is what he really believes over a liar like Hillary. I said that the other day, and so guess what comes out today? Minorities line up behind dot, 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 Donald Trump. It's on World Net Daily, written by Bob Unruh. And they have new research that show exactly what I said. And it shows exactly what I said that um, Trump is popular amongst minorities. So everything you're hearing from the mainstream, which I call the midstream media, because that's about what their value is to me, is a lie. We're talking about 
fighting for our survival, which is what we're doing. Most Americans who have a brain say that the vermin in ISIS are winning. The radical Muslims, the radical Muslims are winning. That's because Obama has dragged his hands or feet or whatever you want to call it, has not dropped weapons to those who are fighting them, won't even give Jordan the heavy weapons it needs. If you can believe this and he's getting away with it, it's beyond belief. Gets to go to Hawaii, joke around with the Marines, hangs around amongst them as the true enemy within, uses them as cover for being the patriotic commander-in-chief, and no one dares say the king has no clothes. Only in this case, this king does have clothes. Yeah, this king has clothes, all right. It's not that this king has no clothes. This king is wearing a robe, Jackson. This king's wearing a robe. Of course the terrorists are winning. How could that be even possible? How did we defeat Hitler in three or four years? How was that possible? Fought a war on two fronts. Germany, Japan. We gave it our all and we won our antecedents. They won. Because we had a war leader. A liberal, but a war leader. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yeah, I know. He locked up the Japanese, blah, blah, blah. I get it. Well, look into that a little more deeply. You'll find out that he did it for a reason. you find it wasn't all based on fear and, and, and racism and resentment. There was a reason for it. What you don't know, by the way, in World War II, because it's left out of the uh, PC history books, is that the Italians were also put under a microscope, and the Germans, in case you don't know it. See, I happen to be a little knowledgeable about these things. What I'm getting at is, if you're going to listen to the liberals, we're all going to die. One at a time. They're going to kill us by a thousand strokes. Savage. You know, as I pointed out in my best-selling book, Government Zero, we are engaged in a religious war that went on in the past. We had religious wars that went on for a couple of hundred years. If you think this is going to end, whether it's Trump or someone else who finally steps up to the plate, you're mistaken. Radical Islam is now at war with the entire world. That means Christians, Jews, Muslims who are not compliant with their insanity, uh, Hindus, Buddhists, atheists. They're not going to change just because you wish for them to change. And if you see how deeply embedded radicalism in the Islamic community is embedded right now because of Obama, you'll realize how much work there is remaining to be done. This just came out. Mosque linked to Muslim Brotherhood has received millions in federal grants. I said, this can't be true. Mosque linked to Muslim Brotherhood in Kansas City, with deep ties to the U.S. arm of the Muslim Brotherhood, has received millions of dollars in federal grants over the past several years. The Islamic Center of Greater Kansas City has received $2.7 million from the Department of Agriculture since 2010, a daily caller analysis has found. The money largely went to the mosques mosques crescent clinic to provide services through the women infant and children nutrition program known as WIC. the most recent federal payment in the amount of three hundred twenty seven thousand dollars was handed out in october one property records show the mosque is owned by the north american islamic trust which acts as a financial holding company for islamic organizations it offers Sharia-compliant financial products to Muslim investors, operates Islamic schools, and owns more than 300 other mosques, mosques throughout the U.S. Now, what does Sharia-compliant financial product mean? Does that mean that the knife they use to cut off the hands of thieves is uh, spit upon by a holy man? What do I mean by Sharia-compliant financial product? You have any idea how deeply we have been invaded? under Hussein Obama. Do you have any idea what it's going to take to rid ourselves of this disease? There are more stories, and one of them is more agitating than the other. And I realize the average person can only take so much. I get it. But if I can take it, you can take it. Here's another one out of Europe. Wave of refugees to Europe is called an organized invasion, not by a right-wing nut, but by the Czech Prime Minister. Czech President Milo Zeman has called the current wave of refugees to Europe, quote, an organized invasion, saying that young men from Syria and Iraq should instead take up arms against the Islamic State of Iraq and Levant. Good for him. Good for him. Young men single and in good health. He says, I wonder why these men are not taking up arms to go fight for the freedom of their countries against the Islamic State. 
Hmm. I wonder what that's about. Well, he calls it an invasion. I guess he's now going to be called a Nazi 